<laughs> Imagine yeah. pigeons stole your keys. What if the baby just stabs me in the calf? <laughs> ended up like burning to death in fires. Yeah, I guess he had a big sack. Oh shit. <laughs> do the same thing every time. I see you do it. That's different. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Picky Boys podcast. We got some uh, new guests today. Who are you? Gary Dillman. Oh, Good perfect. to see you guys. Wow, a lot, of, a lot of people, honestly, I'll be honest, a lot of people don't get it on the first try without me saying anything. You got it. You nailed it. What do you mean I nailed it? Is <laughs> like introducing myself? <laughs> <laughs> you did well. It's okay. It's, uh, what, what Danny the Manny. I'm uh, Jed Hendrickson. Calm, cool, collective. I'm Antonio. I'm going to start this picnic, boys. Let's do it. Do people screw up the introductions like that <laughs> often? <laughs> yeah. A lot. A lot of people. Some people will be like, wait, did we just start? Or, or wait, <laughs> like, or like, just my name? Do I have are to say things? Oh, my this? God. Wait, me? Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's like, some, and then some people don't know if they give their last name and their middle name. And and then at the end, we'll ask you to give your social security number. Do you guys want, like, confirmation name? <laughs> yeah, sure. What is it? What it's is- Luke. <laughs> I chose it for Star Wars, but I told everyone is because of the gospel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dumb church. Had no idea. God, you, you really, t- you you really pulled one over on him. If I had to re-choose my confirmation name, I'd probably choose Blaze. It's just a badass name. How are you going to get away with that? Same Blaze. You need like, like a reason. Blessing of the throats. Remember they put the candles over your neck? And they bless your throat for St. Blaze What church did you go to? Like every church is like this piece of St. Really Blaze. Was, it, was it a kinky thing? Or? It wasn't pressed on his throat. <laughs> they put like the candles over your neck and like say a prayer and they would bless your throat. No, yeah, I know that. There's, there's very I weird. I that uh, priest blessed your throat a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Jumping right into it. I like it. Am I, I think my, uh, my wisdom teeth are coming in and it's fucking up my gums. So if I sound weird, it's because of that for the record. That's fine. I had all four of mine taken out at once. Remember you came with me. You, I made you drive me, even though I didn't need you. That's true. <laughs> I do remember that. Because it's for wasting like, my life. They'll give you, they'll give you like the gas, or they'll give you like fifteen different injections. And I went for the injection, so I was totally cool to drive after, even though I was like oozing blood out of my mouth. Did you? Did you have the chipmunk face? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, but just... I had, I had um, all my teeth were like kind of out, so they just kind of went in and like yoinked them right out, cranked them. Yeah, like all four of them at one shot. Like to... some people have them like kind of growing inward, and they have to cut them and take them out, like Ooh. cut it in half while they're still in there. And oh, that sounds horrible. They do two at a time, and you gotta come back for the other two. And I'm like, what thank God you? I had all four at once. What about you? You had your wisdom teeth in? And... Um, every now and then they get like swollen. Yeah, that's and I'm in a happening. ridiculous amount of pain, and I like, poke around <laughs> in there, and I'm like, wow, I should really get this taken care of. <laughs> And then, like, I wake up the next day, and it's like, oh, this is done. It's over. I don't need to do anything with this. I think that's exactly what's It'll happening. It'll affect me another day. Yeah, I feel like some people, before I was going into it, were like, oh, you know, you're going to, like, it's going to feel like you lost pressure. You never even knew it was in your mouth. And then I got them taken out, and it didn't feel any different. Didn't feel any different? At all. Yeah, I'm afraid <clears throat> I'm afraid of, like, having the chipmunk face, and, like, you know, a lot of people, you can only eat ice cream and shit like that. That's but fine. You'll look cute. I know. <laughs> I could, I could, I could. You could rock it. Just do it for Halloween. Be a chipmunk. Be a chipmunk. Halloween. Exactly. Yeah. Just be like Alvin, be, and then have him name, name the, the other two chipmunks. Name I the can't. other two chipmunks. Right. Theodore. Uh, Theodore is one. And Simon. Uh, Simon. Oh, oh my there God. It is. I got you. I he has like a shrine in his closet. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, those movies suck. The first, really? one, the first one was good. I feel like then I they s- went on the cruise ship, and it was like, Jesus, what's the guy from My Name Israel doing right now? Well, apparently, you watch, <laughs> I guess you watched them all. I didn't even watch yeah, them all. Yeah, no, so I watched every single one. <laughs> so I, guess you were I saw the first one when I, was a, when I was a kid, and I think I, I don't think I was at the age where I was able to tell if a movie was good or bad or not. So you just... I just liked it. So you just went in, consumed... I don't think when I was a kid, consumed. I was like, this movie sucks. No? And I think if I watched a movie now, I'm like, this was just bad. It was like, as a kid, he's just I want to be out. Basically, any movie that's not a Marvel movie to me is bad. Nice. I'm just dying. We're gonna let that marinate for a minute. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I like Marvel movies. Who doesn't? Well, they well, some people just think they're just okay. It's not that I, it's not that I don't like them. It's just that they're you know they're a bit like there's uh, someone predict- there's, predictable. There's people overhyped. there's people that only like Marvel movies and those yeah. people what ruin it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you hate a, hate I, the movies because of the fan base. No, I think he does. No, no, I I, I like I, the fan base. I, I am the fan base. I don't care. I don't care about like I can love something and hate the fan base. Like I, love, oh, like, Rick like and Morty. I, I love Rick and Morty, hate the fan base. Rick and Morty's fan base is pretty That's bad. Fair. They're just, you know. You guys I am, I am the fan extreme. base. Yeah, yeah they can be. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but like, but technically I am oh, the no, fan no, base, no, too. We, we like Rick and Morty. We are the we fan base. We mean like yeah. the... Like the annoying the ones. Right? Just like people yeah, who like... This it, end of spectrum. So yeah. I'm with a Giants. crazy guy that's always pointing yeah, out you need a high IQ to understand Yeah, that's exactly... Oh, yeah, if you're an intellectual, you're not going to understand fucking... He turned himself into a pickle. You guys don't understand the art behind that. Yeah, you guys don't understand the subtle jokes. It is a good show, though. Oh, no, fantastic show. I think it's very smart. Uh, so oh, God. there's been we, we met a while ago, right? We met high school. I was I was in your driver's ed car, right? 
No, you were not. I, was I had one person <laughs> in my driver's ed car. And was it, was it me? I, sorry, I must have been in Duffy's driver's ed car. Sorry. But we get mixed up a lot. Shout out Cody Duffy. My point is, uh, Nick, you, know, you remember Nick, right? Yeah. Puccio? He, you guys invited him to your fight club one night. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, First rule I, about fight club, don't talk wait, about it. No, 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 it's going to come up right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, listen, listen. Your fight club. Not, not, <laughs> wait, not he's over here looking like it wasn't our fight club. It was at my house, but we both planned it equally. And, and, and simply, I had no part of this. I, I convinced Nick to not go. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I want to know, like, what happened there? Oh, man. I want, there's uh, this kid, Michael Giambroni. He has a camera with all the videos. <laughs> Of those fights that we used to throw, and those were pretty brutal. But was it like steel cage matches? No, it was no, like so it was like fighting in a tool shed on like a dirty plywood floor, and people were getting like slammed on their faces. So <laughs> particularly it, it by was him. a shed. It was definitely a shed. I would say we had about a a ten foot by ten foot space where we could uh, not fight at all. We never fought. We did nothing. Um, but Just, we did nothing <laughs> with. Um, you know, like fits. blankets on the floor and, you know, like wraps and <laughs> gloves. Yeah, wait, and do we put an area rug down or do we have... Blankets? There was like an area rug and a few blankets, like oh some pillows. God. So There was a boat engine in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that was just bad. <laughs> that was Smashing people's the face on the, pro- on the propeller. <laughs> yeah, if you like, if you went back like a little too far, you'd get like impaled by like a bunch there of tools. samurai swords. Yeah, samurai swords hanging from the wall. They're um, probably still there. How long did you, How long did this not last for? Uh, uh, it definitely didn't go at least a few months. Oh, it's only a few months? Yeah, we've definitely held at least three major events. We definitely didn't three, do that. Three major <laughs> events, allegedly. No, but the thing is, like, I want people to understand, like, you guys are pretty big, like, like especially when we were, like, tall. Like, you're, you're how tall are you? Oh, I'm 6'2". And you're, you're, 6'2". Yeah, exactly. You guys are fucking tall. And Nick, not that tall. Nick, what, 5'4"? Like five, 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 <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's about heart. It's about heart. <laughs> not, not, it's, yeah, it's about heart until Jed's yeah, fucking until, pile driving you into, into the, the fucking... Into the boat ground. engine. <laughs> yeah, How much does he weigh? Uh, uh, back then, um, he was small. Like 80 pounds soaking wet. Oh, my small. God. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Puccio. You're like 120, maybe. But I, I, I honestly, uh, if he went, I wanted to go and just watch, but I felt like I kind of I would have got roped into it, and then I, w- I wasn't going to go. No, we had like brackets we had we didn't have it we definitely didn't have weight classes and we didn't didn't try about this whatsoever we didn't try to organize it as best as we could just to let it fall apart at the last second let random people fight each other is that what happened yeah like if people showed up and had beef with each other they would just fight so you just became that's just (laughs) (laughs) just just, for entertainment factor that's just the recipe for which didn't happen (laughs) was it like everybody just trying to catch up to you or were you the who's the top dog Oh. Awkward uh, silence overwhelms the room. Uh, I'm sure we year, went back and forth. Each year was a different Here's winner. Here's the calculated so answer. The first year that didn't happen. I thought you told right? me this was a few months. Now we're talking about different No, no, no. We had, we had like a few <laughs> months of like organizing, but there was like three years of main events. It was, I remember Frankie Irving won the first one, Jed won the second one, and I won the third one. Wait, wait, wait. Back back up two seconds. What's so... Wait. <laughs> so... I don't even know. I didn't come prepared to talk about this. I would have had much more information. <laughs> what would you have done? Study? Do you look at the secret text? <laughs> I would have went back into the group chat that we had on Facebook. Remember the secret group chat? Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Don't go looking for it. Mark Zuckerberg. I'm not real. It was on Facebook. <laughs> was there really? Yeah. I've wiped it from my memory, clearly. How, how much? Maybe oh for God. the best. How much footage do you think there is all together? In the archives. Know. One day, like, somebody from that group is going to become famous, and Michael Giambrono has the footage. He's just going to sell it to Giambron, some massive news media. if you are watching and have that footage, <laughs> give us, I, I give you it. permission to post it. No, give it to me. <laughs> I need it now. <laughs> Please. Yeah, there, there's, we always say that, like, our friend group has far too much video of us. Like, we could never be politicians. Oh, yeah, man. There's <laughs> so, so much, much blackmail. There's definitely too much around about yeah. me going out there. Especially Jed. Like, Jed has dick pics in circulation like you wouldn't believe. That's not true. <laughs> I don't know who's watching, but it's not true. <laughs> There's a very, very select group of people who've seen my penis. And that group is anywhere from like three to 140. But it's very select. And it may be everybody at this table involuntarily. Or voluntarily, whatever it was. It depends how the episode goes. No, but we'll see. especially things being out there, Danny... Uh, 
was on. Excuse me? Was, uh, what the you, fuck are you about to say about me? You live chatted yourself oh, sleeping. No, I, I, I was just about to say, I was just about to say that for later. Oh. So I've become a... I, I've been doing Instagram stories a lot. Uh, I've become an Instagram story star. That's not true. The only problem is that it's in my sleep. And, uh, <laughs> listen, like, I'm, I'll be scrolling through Instagram and, um, you know, I don't know, fall asleep. I don't know. And then, uh, roll over onto, like, my phone and somehow start a live. And then I get a bunch of texts, like, hey, you realize you're just snoring in the black in a black screen. It's, right it's, now. it's really dark on your Instagram live. What right are now? those texts going to do, though? You're already oh yeah, I don't know what happened. I, like, I I don't know, but the, it was but yeah, I was just woke hey bro, up. Wake and, up! Yeah, really. Also, there's no like receipt that you did a live. Like it doesn't say like oh, 20 people watched your live. It just doesn't tell anybody at all. So Nick texted me and was like, hey, uh, did, how was that live stream? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> did we talk about something while we were drunk for somebody's live stream? And he's like, no, this. And he sent me a screen recorded video of me just like. <sighs> <laughs> it's like, and it's the strangest thing ever. And I got multiple text messages about it. We have it now, so we can put it up for them. If, if Don't you... do that. All right, <laughs> here it is. So, it's for Daddy. But you know, this is this is this is now. I want to do this more often. <laughs> live See. live record you. So, so now you're gonna purposely do it. Yeah, yeah. That's not fun. Uh, does it like tell you how long you were Instagram living? So it was like 20 minutes of your sleep for like the entire like eight hours. <laughs> Supposedly it was 20 minutes. Jesus Christ! I, no, it was 20 minutes a few times over the span of three hours. So I would just like end the live how? and then like. You would restart. And then roll back on it and restart it. You're just like on your bed, and like, every, and then everybody would get yeah, another stop. notification. But this was like a four o'clock in the morning, so hopefully no one. I mean, not that it was like incriminating or anything. It's still hilarious. I mean, it's still not. You know, so it's, it's gonna be a thing, thing now, like jerking just, off to it. Yeah, really. yeah, just yeah. Some people like breathing. I think man. Nick called it his the soundtrack <laughs> of <laughs> his jerking off from Nick going forward. That's good. Some people like ASMR. <laughs> just yeah. like sleep apnea. Delman, kinks, you know, Delman looks like he listens to ASMR. No, I like to. Not into oh, that wow. stuff. Wow! Wow! Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh man. So I used to. That's funny. So I used to fight, and then you transition into just grappling. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. So I did, um, like striking for majority of my youth, and then um, I stopped to play high school football, and then when I was about 19, I started doing jujitsu. I saw and you. You wanna. Like, you're on a podium a couple times, no? I've done a few competitions, but nothing crazy. Like, those aren't, like, serious. If you're into, like, jiu-jitsu doing, like, two competitions, it's not, like, that crazy. I know people that have done, like, 25 competitions in the span of a whole year, which is about two a month. Can you, can you like, can you get hurt? You could get hurt doing yeah, that. Yeah, you could. So, you isn't 25 break... a lot for, like, any, like, karate yeah, competition? I mean, well, it's jiu-jitsu. Sorry. It's a little different. Yeah, right. Relax with that. Uh, yeah, I got beat yeah. Karate. Yeah. Oh, no, I got to get beat up. <laughs> um, I mean... It is a lot, but like the, the people who do it are generally pretty talented and can handle that kind of workload. And then they end up loving it, and they just go back into it the second they come back. Like I've had, I've had like black eye. Black eye is pretty much the extent of my injuries that I've had from doing jujitsu. Black eye is the extent. Of <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I heard too. I heard too. I was like, where's this going first? Just again? making sure everyone. I actually graduated um, with my bachelor's, and I, when I did like um, Wait, one are of are the speeches, I had a black, black eye. I had a black eye on the podium. Oh, so like I and like at my job, I always have black eyes, and they're always like, "What do you like? like what, what are you, you doing? doing?" Yeah, <laughs> do you like, just pay like, someone to beat you up? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Like, do you want to look cool? Is this what you're doing? Like, it's not working. Are you running a Fight Club in your shed? <laughs> 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 Maybe. Obviously not. No. <laughs> Who's feeding you this information? Not true. Jed, no, you're still everybody knows. You're still in a rugby, right? Uh, I'm on a on a temporary hiatus. I decided that my uh my mental and physical health is. It's somewhat important to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be playing rugby again soon, but uh, I have not been the past few months, no. Dude, I got I got that one concussion playing, and I was like, oh, God, how many how many more times am I going to go up against guys four times the size of me? Jesus Christ, concussions suck, man. I wish I counted. Yeah? How many guys? Probably be a good idea. What, how many guys you've gone up against that are bigger than you? No, how many concussions I've got. Oh, I'm saying that, like that the number, guy, there is the guy no number limit. is definitely way higher. Yeah, maybe. Some big people out there. Yeah. Yeah, large humans. Humans come in all different shapes and sizes. <laughs> humans. <laughs> humans, right? Do you think, yeah. well, so you stuck with rugby longer, but did you like football better or 
Rugby. No, I, I definitely like rugby better. I'll go on the record right now. Rugby is so much better. You know, it's official now. Now you can't take it yeah. back. Now I can't take it back. <laughs> yeah, it's every time thing. every time you say like football is awesome, someone's going to be like, well, the one time on this podcast you said this. And I'll agree. But is it is it awesome, more awesome to play or more awesome like in general? Like what do you like better in general? Um, It's definitely more fun to play. Um, I think I like watching it more, but I mean, different strokes for different folks, you know, yeah. like there's no, there's no commercial. I'm not going to get a commercial every two downs with rugby. There's no downs in rugby. I'm going to get like some halftime commercials or maybe if someone gets hurt or something like there's full, just full time, like soccer. I hate to bring soccer into this. I hate soccer, but, um, you know, just play doesn't stop. What? You just keep playing and it's, uh, it's really fun. Anyone out there watching that has no idea what rugby is, go on YouTube, you know, find it on TV. New York has a pro team now. Real fun to watch. They play in Coney Island. Shameless uh, plug. Shameless, shameless plug. plug. <laughs> I still haven't said the team's name, and I'm not going <laughs> to figure that out yourself. No free press. No free press. For anybody watching this, before the podcast started, Jed tried to turn the White Claw to the camera so that they would try to give him a sponsorship. The White Claw, if you want to sponsor <laughs> this random white guy on this podcast... Go ahead. That seems like exactly White Claw's target audience. <laughs> <laughs> this way. It's honestly incre- it's it's kind of an incredible thing, like how much of a like like that just took off. There's like a bunch of different spike <clears throat> seltzer or whatever the shits and True. Oh, was not that I'm a big spike seltzer fan anyway, but was spike seltzer even a thing before White Claw? Can you say seltzer yeah. like I three more times? <laughs> <laughs> Please. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure it was. There's like all these band brands like truly and stuff, but I think White Claw just got like it just got memed a bunch of times, and people are like, "I think Old Row had a lot to do with it." Yeah, probably. I think old yeah, Row just loves posting. There, there ain't no laws. Things going drinking wrong. claws. I feel like when things start to get memed, they end up becoming more and more famous. It's like, incredible. That's what um, what do you call it? like Lil Nas did with Old Town Road, like oh, on boy. TikTok. That it just, was just memed. that just passed the uh, that just passed the number one the it broke the record for the number one longest hit on Billboard. 17 weeks. Yeah, and he keeps coming out with new yeah. remixes almost every other week. It's so crazy. Oh, well, he nailed well, the final stretch. Just he fucking uh, remixed it with the Korean pop guy, the BTS yeah, the guy. guy. BTS. Yes, guy yeah. I was, uh, I was looking serious? at it on my way here. Yeah, it already has. It came out like last week and it already has like 400 million streams on Spotify. Well, that's because that K pop, that, that fan base. Oh, K-pop yeah, that fan base is crazy. K pop is wild. Terrifying. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty strange. Uh, speaking of fan bases I'm that make unexposed. you hate the, the brand, True. I have no idea. Oh, K-pop this is, is all new information. Not a make. K-pop fan. No, <laughs> it's just different. Like, it, like K-pop, I don't get like, it. Popular culture and is South it like Korea the Backstreet Boys for Korea? I would. Well, uh, I mean, K- K-pop yes. is just referring to the pop culture music of South Korea, right? And that could be you know any number of bands. Like BTS is probably so the they're more like one. in sync. Or? I, would say, I think <laughs> mo- I think a majority of them. I just want to. So, I, I think most. I think most. Mo- yeah. Yeah. most, most like, of them are groups, and they all yeah. have like these like really over like inflated personalities, and they all have crazy different color hair. Yes. Okay. And they're yeah. all. Like, um, I think yeah, that's yes. the best. Way. It's very interesting. Okay. They're all all the names are um, like letters, like BTS. There's like Blackpink is another one. They're all super simple names because I think. In Korea, the big thing is you want to export that to make money for your country. That's what the brand. That's what K-pop really is. Is like a brand they export. Really? Yeah. Huh. I watched a documentary about it. I was gonna say. Like, I don't watch just Marvel movies. Uh, I watch documentaries too. <laughs> I was gonna say. I watch documentaries on Netflix too. What's the most recent one? No, I was saying he does. I don't. Oh. <laughs> oh. I watch oh. The Office. What are you talking about? I was watching a documentary before I got here. Oh, what, what were we watching? It was like a brand new one about. Um, it was basically going into like Facebook hacking people's information. Oh boy, that guy. Yeah, so it was like a two-hour documentary about how Facebook, you know, used people's um, information to hack the 2016 election. Yeah, I, we agreed to that, though. We, exactly, we clicked, yeah, right? We clicked, uh, I agree to the terms and conditions. Yeah, nobody reads the terms and conditions. Without Basically, it follows, pages of it. it follows this guy that sued Cambridge Analytica, which is the company that has that used all the data for propaganda purposes, and he sued that company in Britain to get all his data back, like to get all the information they have on him. Like, I want it back and you guys can't have any of my data. And it worked? Uh, I didn't finish it. I kind of had to come here. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, do- do- I'll let do- it slide. Do- documentaries are great. I-, I watched one yesterday about uh, Snake Island. There's an island in Brazil that has the highest concentration of snakes, snakes right? in yeah. any area. It's like 2,000 snakes, but it's also... 
they're very confused because basically that snake is only native to that island. So they don't know how it got there. How it got there. That it doesn't really have a predator to feed on, and they're incredibly toxic. Like their venom is is super toxic. And uh, it was just about how like people went to go see dumb yeah. guys from Vice were like, let's go see what's up. They died. No, oh. uh, Vice. Is, <laughs> I, I saw that documentary too. It's like if you step every like square foot you step, you're at risk of being bitten by like three different snakes at once. What the fuck? It's yeah, like it, so like jam- the population of snakes is so jam packed into this little island. It's crazy. I, I, at first, they walk for like twenty minutes, and you're like, oh, there's only three. And then all of a sudden, like when they get into like this like the tree area where snakes like to hide. Like you see the cameras, like there's just they're everywhere. It's it's really Jesus. wild, actually. It's like Australia, how like top nine out of the ten most deadliest animals are on, in the world are in Australia. Australia is a weird place for wildlife. Like their scary. wildlife is weird. But then yeah, on the who, flip side, I'm sure we never thought come of here. a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird animal to just that cook a, up. It's yeah. a strange marsupial. That is a, a, sack. a koala. What the hell is a koala? It's fucking big ass ears. They also have like lorikeets, which are like incredibly smart. Like Australia's version of a pigeon that's like super colorful, and they'll go and they'll like they'll like go on your arm and like drink your coffee out of your hand. And oh. They'll steal your keys and like they're little assholes. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. pigeons stole your keys. I feel like we lose our keys enough. Yeah, I'd start punching pigeons <laughs> out of the air right now. And then like and then they're in your house, like in your apartment. They have squatters' yeah, rights. Yeah, they're, they're like, fuck. They're, yeah, they're cooking meals <laughs> with your food. Yeah. Oh my god. How did you figure out how to use the oven? <laughs> they're fucking smart pigeons. Not a goddamn baked Alaska. <laughs> Pigeon out, fucking culinary game. <laughs> he actually, but like, he pulls out another plate. He's like, "No, I made one for you too." So oh. I was like, "Yeah, you can still." And then the pigeons, man. It's like you the destroy weird, the house. It's like um, the strangest sitcom of all time. You guys ever watch uh, Mike Tyson's? Uh, what's that goddamn oh, <laughs> animated an show? Swim? Oh, it's yeah. so fucking weird. Yeah, there's a pigeon on it. Yeah, that, that <laughs> pigeon like, is the man. <laughs> Mike Tyson and a pigeon. I have to watch this. And there's like that little Asian girl too. Yeah, it's yeah. very strange. I see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like National Tiger Day today. Oh yeah. Can you imagine being rich enough to be like, yeah, I want to own a fucking tiger. If you die by your tiger, it's all your fault. I feel like you could train a tiger, right? Like you train a dog, like it'll love you and protect you. Yeah, but right? a, a, I don't think a dog is the same as a tiger. I don't know. I mean, in my dog, shape or form. my dogs as small as they are. If they wanted to, they could probably kill me. I doubt that very much. My dogs are small, by the way. I don't have like very big dogs. Do you think they could kill you? Sure they could if they really wanted to like walk up to me in my sleep and just rip my throat see, out. See I, see, I think that's cheating. Every every scenario where it's like, oh, I could kill you in your sleep, that's cheating. Why is it cheating? It's fair game. Uh, I no, sleep. It's not. It's not fair game. I'm, so, I'm asleep. Why would it kill you in your sleep? If you're in the wild, an animal's gonna attack you in your sleep. You're right, but but but, but, but but also it's just that's like one clean shot. It has to get on you before you wake up and then. Yeah, you're also your imagining like the moment it bites your throat, you're still asleep. You're like, oh my god, I'm dude. So I, I mean, now now because of these points, I'm on your side. I don't, don't think it matters what dog. If they get a nice chunk, that's a. That's not true. I'm saying my dog, this thing in the if my, I said I said if my dog wanted to, it could. It definitely could. I'm, I'm saying, not saying like, I would. Like, like my, I would maybe, rock my dog. Maybe if one of them. Me. I'm saying a little baby with a knife, if he really wanted to, could kill you in your sleep. It's just not fair because a baby shouldn't be able to kill you. But baby, when you a baby shouldn't be having a knife. Does this baby have <laughs> sentience? Yeah. Like, does it know where to stab me? What if the baby just stabs me in the calf? Right? That's, that's what I'm not going to bleed out. I'm going to wake up and just kick it. be like, what is wrong with you? Do you remember that thing I sent you the other day? Like, what would you rather get killed by? It was like a tiger or a silverback gorilla? Oh. Or like I, a think I, I think I chose the... Uh, oh, yeah. It was a bear, a tiger, or a gorilla. I think I chose... Two bears are fucked up. The, I would rather get killed by a tiger for sure. I think the tiger is yeah, the best. I say t- I say just tiger because if, sure. I think the tiger knows how to kill you and will do it f- faster. A gorilla is pretty much like they eat plants, right? So they're not going to know how to kill you. If they're going to kill you, they're going to like rip you apart. Yeah, it's like if the rock they just, They're going to start pulling shit and wait for, some, you die. for some reason, they like rip your face off or but something. But what if the gorilla and me become boys? Like maybe he won't kill me. Maybe you're all dead because like, like, you Jane, chose the tiger and Jane it's just all me and a gorilla hanging out. All right, so you could live your life being friends with the gorilla, and I'll be uh, probably dead. From the no, you will be dead, and I'm going to hang out with the gorilla, so checkmate. All right, your friend's a gorilla. What's his name? Did Jed just lose? Gary's saying that, like, like <laughs> there's a problem. Oh, you know, other friends I'm friends gorilla? with the gorilla, guys. <laughs> oh, no. It would be cool. It'd be cool. I, I'm going like, to teach it how to deadlift. It would be cool for, like, bragging rights. <laughs> I don't think like, it'd be I'm cool. I'm friends with a gorilla, but then you're going to be eating, like, sticks for the rest of your life. Okay, obviously. Like, I, I don't think don't I could eat some it. leaves, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but what if it's the aggressive friend that's like, you try to leave, and it's like, no, you stay, you're going to stay with me for a while. It's like, like, like Harambe to the kid. <laughs> okay. It's like, no, you're staying. <laughs> I'm going to stay. Oh, that's, that'd be interesting if it killed you every time. You, if it was, I'm going to kill you if you leave. 
I would just be like, yeah, you got it. I don't think that's a friend anymore. Yeah, now you're just a gay prisoner. <laughs> then, then I wait for the gorilla to fall asleep, and I get a dog to bite its neck. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Rat gorilla. I don't like how you guys think it's fair that if someone killed me in my sleep, it, it's fair game. Well, some, if somebody kills you in your sleep, like a person, anything, that's... What about that is fair? No, that's not fair. Because I'm, I'm asleep? A, the dog, I'm alive? I'm saying if a dog killed you, it's like, okay. I'm saying I want I want the dog or whatever is trying to kill me in my sleep to wake me up and then go, okay, we're going to do this now. And then that's like, a fair You fight. want your dog to square up with you, basically. Yeah. And now it's a fair fight. And if he kills me now, either I deserve to be dead or he's better than me, so... But, but if a dog kills somebody, they're like... Now, now that's... Sh- in this in today's society, it's like, uh, you know, suicide. Because if, if a dog kills somebody, that thing's getting killed. Yeah, my uh, when I got bit by my dog when I was a kid upstate by my neighbor, my neighbor was like super redneck. I don't have to worry about them possibly watching this either because they definitely don't have access. They don't have internet. internet. No <laughs> way. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how bad it is. So, yeah. Um, I remember like the my neighbor was like I'm like he figured out like we came back from the hospital late at night and I had my face all stitched up, and then my neighbor came over and was like, "What happened?" Like he saw like there was blood over by his house and stuff. And then he saw my face, and he wanted to, like, go kill his own dog. Oh. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to push. And my dad, like, stopped him, and it was, like, a whole mess. But, like, the, my neighbor wanted to kill the dog. So if you if a dog bites somebody, it's it ends up being, like, a pretty shitty situation for all parties involved. Like, the people are going to want to kill the dog. Like, people are going to take well, the mean, dog I, in, get a check for rabies. Did I miss something? Stuff. Were you doing something wrong or just attacked you? Uh, I was just on their... Oh, no, I was trespassing. Oh, well. Yeah. You I, were in the wrong. You I was in the wrong, so it was like... It's life, so... Yeah, but I didn't. I mean, the dog ended up like burning to death in a fire. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Had it. Mama. laughs> it's, it's same with That's lighter cool. fluid in the I matches. I didn't mean that. Yeah, the dog's just like. Oh, yeah. So that didn't happen. What? Wait, did it? it? Didn't happen. Just like the Fight Club didn't happen. <laughs> you say a lot. So it did happen. Conflicting. No, the dog burned to death in a fire. Like later on. That I so it did happen. That I yes. started. The or it did it. it. As revenge. <laughs> no, it really did. It did. Did, did you it. set the fire? <laughs> no. Did the, did the people burn down the <laughs> we fire? Just, we just, I don't know what's to happen. We get I the really light, we put it in his face. Did you fucking kill the dog? <laughs> it's like interrogation. I don't know. The cops come in. <laughs> yeah, but I, like, see, like, I see a lot of dog bites, and, and to be honest, like a majority of them are pit bulls. Or why do you see a lot? Like, how do you see a lot of... What? I work in an emergency room. Oh. oh. Yeah, so I see a lot of dog bites. What's Not like a lot. What's the worst thing you ever saw in the emergency room? Severed penis. Really? I've seen like uh, I've seen injuries to people's genitalia before. People with genitalia. Or I've seen injuries, injuries to, to the genitalia. genitalia. <laughs> I know somebody who's taking a shower. Uh-oh. And, uh, Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Well, about time. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Yeah, seriously. Uh, it feels so good. Um, but <laughs> but uh, but he was taking a shower and he fell and I guess you know the like uh, oh, the uh, fucking bathtub like hose. <laughs> What the, what the, the, the faucet. The faucet. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> the bath hose. Uh, Where um, do you shower? Uh, in the yard? trough. Uh, He's got a know. thirty foot hose <laughs> from his backyard into a shower. Uh, okay. and either way, so the the faucet. Uh, he stripped and is and is. I guess he had a big sack. Because <laughs> well, his what sack. It was just a very precise his, cut. His sack got caught oh. on that thing and got ripped open and. Uh, and it was a real dilemma because, you know, now you have to call your mom and she has to come and fucking... Yo. The first call you make is your mom. <laughs> That's what he did. I don't the know. The first call I make is... Yo, mom, awesome. help. I rip my sack. I don't care who's there. It could be my, my brother, my grandma. If my sack's wide open and I need to get the I'm calling everybody. Like, get yeah, me there yeah. now. I think he's... I think call he's my mom. So, yeah. That's what you should okay. do. That's true. I think he's okay, but honestly... Uh, I don't even know. Do you even yell at that point? You just go. Oh, 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 I think you're gonna be in shock. You're gonna be in shock. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be losing a lot of blood. Yeah, for, and for a while, you're definitely just watching. You're definitely gonna be there. Like you're gonna be there for a second. Like okay, my nuts are on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Something got him. Just uh. I'm picturing someone trying to get their balls together, kind of juggling them. <laughs> <laughs> they keep dropping them. Like, Why can't I hold on these balls? <laughs> <laughs> How many do they have that they could juggle them? I could juggle. <laughs> <laughs> could you juggle your balls? Uh, no, I'm not very good at that. But, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like, you try yourself. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh. How do we dig ourselves out of this hole? Uh, oh, God, yeah. Right. How do we uh, transition from this now? Uh, next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Just keep digging.
Oh my god! Can, I, can you give me a paper towel right there? Uh oh! Oh yeah! Profusely sweaty sweating. dance coming out. <laughs> it's getting moist. Dude, up in here. is this when the smell starts? Uh, no, it's always. If you're not smelling it yet, then you got it's, a problem with your nose. No smell. I mean, I'm no friends smell. with Jed. I'm used to. That one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you keep looking into the camera and I keep seeing you. I do it for dramatic effect. I'm looking at you a <laughs> lot, but I'm also looking at Danny. Dramatic Sometimes defect. I look at Antonio. I haven't looked at that camera yet, but I'll look at this camera. Well, you right. can't be seen you're in this not, camera, so it doesn't matter. You think I can't be seen in that camera? I'll get up right now. <laughs> you won't. I'll just. I don't want to scratch the floor. I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> it's taken. The whole pog has come to a. a Great, sense. now we have to pause for this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thumbnail. There you go. You had your Jim Helper moment Gary's of looking fault. at the camera. Honestly, he proved you wrong. I'd he rather, did. He got I'd me. rather be Dwight. Dwight wins in the end. Dwight? Why? He's friends with everyone by the end. He's also like the boss. Michael comes back for the wedding. Are you and talking about the office? His, is his best fan. Best fan. <laughs> Yo, I forgot and how to talk. Sorry, Jim, Jim probably wins in the end, I'd say, like the most. Piss of Pam? He, like, marries his, like, love of his life and then moves to yeah, text. Does he move, like... Dwight marry Angela? He moves to... Yeah, but, like, that was such a weird relationship. <laughs> okay, but, like, who are you to decide what love is? Bitch. Oh, shit. God, he got you. He got yeah, but bed. Jim and Pam. But oh, they... Jim and Pam. Jim and Pam. <laughs> Did Pam not, like, bang everybody in the office? <laughs> she banged, like, two She guys. had to have. She, she definitely got with Michael Scott. Yeah, she sure. got with Michael, didn't she? For sure. There's no way. I thought that's the whole thing. Jenna sure. Fisher, if this makes its way back to you, please confirm that Pam did not well, sleep with Michael. You well, that's, it's definitely not Michael. break my heart. We'll it's send defini- it to we'll It's say. definitely not the whole thing. It's not, is that what I said? Yeah. It's, oh, is that it's, not said? Said, it's not like really... The whole point of The Office is that. <laughs> yeah, it's Michael Scott. That's the whole point. Pam. When she was engaged to the guy in like the first two seasons, <laughs> she was on sleeping with Michael on the side. Boom. That's, I met with the directors like on the side. We need someone else to prove us wrong. We'll send it to them. We'll see. We'll see if they get back. Wow. What? All right, yeah, let's see. I want to know. He's he's hurting. I'm surprised more like really styles of like that show confused. haven't come out, like the mockumentary style. You got Office and Parks and Rec. How many times can you do it, though? Parks and Rec's really good, I mean, too. You probably get... I actually haven't watched it, but I feel like you could probably get some other genres. Much. They also have... Oh, there's another one. I forgot what it is, but it's pretty good. It's made by the same guys, but I don't think it's that mockumentary style. Did you, <laughs> did you see that the <clears throat> there was people swimming with dolphins and this dolphin was being so aggressive that they had to shut down the beach because the dolphin was trying to like holy shit everybody. dolphins are the most they're gangster animal them. yeah they're trying to yeah besides people for sure dolphins like they gang bang each other they fucking they have they're the only other animal that has recreational sex besides humans dude dolphins are smart can you prove wild. that can you prove to me that beetles aren't fucking just a bone went out. <laughs> Can you prove that? Beetles? What? I'm sure there's some a, scientific like, like, like article nice somewhere at some point. Beetle a big point. ass horn? You're telling me it's not just trying to get it on sometimes? That's a fair point. It's always to procreate. Might... You don't know that. You don't know my life. I know that is. You don't know that beetle's life. That is a <laughs> fact, though, I've beetles. heard. The dolphin one. Yeah, dolphins are savage, dude. Dolphins are scary, man. And they, they like, kick the shit out of sharks, too. Like, they're hardcore. Yeah, but then there's also like stories of dolphins protecting like a pregnant woman swimming in the beach. That's because it wants to eat the baby for itself. Honestly, it wants to fuck. Obviously. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can it you doesn't do have to worry noise? about having a son. <laughs> dolphin noise would be the worst noise to hear on this thing, definitely. All right, definitely yeah. put a dolphin noise in right now. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep, dolphin noise. Just in case they didn't know what a dolphin was. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. It's like uh, in SpongeBob, they blurb, they like, it's one of the curse words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you have to, now you have to download it. It'd be funny if a dolphin's fucking and you're like, what's your safe word? <laughs> Every and time play that, play no, no, no. Every noise. time someone curses, it's gonna be the dolphin noise. <laughs> oh God, that would be that would be horrible. That'd, <laughs> that'd be a shit show because for me. That would be. <laughs> one, see, for like one log. <laughs> Not if I do this. <laughs> uh, meow mix. <laughs> <laughs> Beer bottle. Um, stereo. <laughs> God damn it, that's gonna hey, be. You can't catch me now. All right. Would you be a part of the purge? Yeah. Um, oh, absolutely. Oh, part of I've never watched one of the movies. <laughs> what does that but mean? You know, the like, idea like, tickles me. Am I? Because like, <laughs> would I just hang out in my house? Would I do some robbery? Would I actually kill tons of people? I don't know yet. I would definitely. I wouldn't kill anybody. Probably. I'd probably try to help people, and I would rob the shit out. Of you stories. would die. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen the movies, but I can't imagine the. That's good basically guys what win. the movies are about: about people who try to help people. Is, do the movies die. end with like the sun rising and the good guys win and they're like all triumphant? <laughs> no, no, honestly, like, honestly no. not all the time. No, good. But okay. but a lot of the times they which, shouldn't. Because the purge, you know, there's that fine line between like how would someone really know that like 
seven fifty nine minute and that eight minute where when well it they ends. have that giant alarm right no but you, you, do you understand what I'm saying the, the that one minute where the purge is over but there's nowhere you, you get a, you get a bit of a well leeway. you just gotta stop like if you stab the guy thirty seven <laughs> times don't go for thirty eight well the thing is like I don't think the purge would ever work because you gotta realize too everyone's gonna want to rob stores and then all of a sudden everyone's gonna have like everything. I well, you beef up security. Then, That's yeah. great for the economy. I'm I, gonna start investing well, 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 in, you is know, it, is it, fences. Isn't the whole okay, but look at the like, and then like you, everyone's stealing like fruit, fresh fruit, and then like the value of fruit goes down. Or you're stealing more like well, grow more fruit. It's only one day a year. You're stealing like how about I do stealing, one day every five years? You're stealing it's all these generational. Goods, I'll do one day every twenty five years. It's generational. How is like the business supposed to sell things when everyone has it because they stole? Are yeah, you too worried about the economics? I'm just saying, let loose. Have some fun for a night. Kill ten people. If you're worried about the economics, I'd be more worried. about Also, isn't the whole arson the whole point? of the <laughs> the whole yeah instead of robbing a store she's burning it down I'm saying if you burn so down so much arson if you, oh my God. If you want to do something evil arson if, if you burn evil. down a bunch of like the fucking everything robot chickens it, about it, to it, sue it, me isn't, isn't the whole point like I have no, no spoiler alert so isn't the whole point that like it's really just to kill homeless people yeah, yeah that was like the underlying it like, political thing very much oh, really? from that I yeah, mean, I, I, I a, really didn't watch it. It was yeah, that no, the goal of the movie to kill homeless people. I think it's so yeah. you can get rid of like no, the it, it wasn't the goal of the movie, but the goal like wow. how the population control. Yeah, yeah exactly. How, how like they're the like, how do we get rid of like the divide between the rich and the poor? Oh, let's have the rich kill people, and like the rich would hold like <laughs> killing kill parties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that they had all the crazy like yeah. mass of the stereotypes. Yeah, so like the rich people, people, like the rich and like people that had like access to like you know goods and stuff and weapons would kill the poor people that had no access that basically were living on the street. And then you get like you know, the organizations that are like, if you're homeless during the purge, come stay with us. And then it's like a battle. Yeah, but what if they all do? There'd be so many battle. fucking f- weirdos. I wouldn't be like, able to just trust anybody. You if can't. You, like, like, uh, if you were trying to help me and then all of a sudden you could just like pop right in my face. It's true. Honestly, I wouldn't trust me either. Yeah, what, if, what if those organizations just rounded up I, all yeah, the homeless right? people and they're like, oh, stand right there and it's just a big blender. <laughs> it's there'd, just there'd be so many like purge planners who like have YouTube channels. Oh my God, like, it could be a job. This new defense I could have a job as a purge planner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You say you set up a minigun in the back of a garbage truck. to kill people yeah, every like, now and then. It's time to start planning. <laughs> like you sell different systems so and shit. So this year... We're gonna invest in flamethrowers. <laughs> I think that was the problem, like the like a makeup tutorial, like James Charles, but for the purge. <laughs> True. Yeah. I think the main family of the uh, they sold security for all the homes, so they like they got super rich super quick, and everyone was like, "Well, these people don't deserve this because they're profiting off people dying, and they try to kill." Them. Yeah, and then it's like oh. I don't get like, and then all of a sudden it's like you sell them something outside the purge, and then when it doesn't work during the purge, it's like, are they liable for that? It's like there's so many questions. Like, oh, I purge it's would never. It's a good thing happen. it's just a movie. Yeah, you're right. You got me. I just had to like dispel the fact that a purge would never work. Just like Thanos thing snapping half the universe would never work. Why is that? Because like you'd have like whole local ecosystems that would just collapse, and like people would just lose. Like you have kids that would lose their parents, and like just okay. Do oh, you yeah. really, never work. Do you really think this giant purple alien from Saturn <laughs> cares about little Johnny not having his mommy? I'm He's sure from Titan. I'm sure. Tra- <laughs> and what, Titan, Titan is a moon. You want to tell me what planet it's a moon of? Theoretically, in the Marvel cinematic, in the Marvel universe, it's not explain, from Saturn. You want to explain? It's a different like galaxy. Far no, away. it's Saturn. No, it's not. Yeah, you want to look it up right now? What? I don't because it's rude to go on my phone. No, it wouldn't. Uh, no, it wouldn't. no. Go ahead. Can really? I go on my phone and look it up? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Look up. Look up what uh it what wouldn't. moon Titan? <laughs> no, wait, is there Wi-Fi here? I don't have data like that. I'm but then, but then, oh what? no, it's cool. Don't worry. I'll look it up too if you can't. <laughs> But then, why would it have taken Tony Stark to get get take so long to get there? Theoretically, we don't know how they long were it's traveling to get at there. light speed or some shit. I don't know movies. I don't know why he's harping on this. It's a movie. But I'm saying, aren't you saying it's one of Saturn's moons? Based on Saturn's yeah, moon. So oh, I'm sorry. Based. One more time. On Saturn's moon. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's based on Saturn's moon. That could mean they just got the name from it. <laughs> I don't know. It's not time. real. I'm not sure what any of it means. None of it is real. You fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> got him. The goddamn movie. But 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 it the is there, there is there is a point that um. It wouldn't actually be 50-50 because people people would die. I think I think like that, people who's who okay, in planes, it's collateral damage. People who are in planes. Uh, also, right, a pilot dies. <laughs> yeah, it's all over. So, and even in the end credit, there's a helicopter just flying into a building. I yeah, like that shit would happen and people would die. But also, I think in like the 1940s, like our population on Earth was like a billion. Now it's seven billion in like 70 years. So we'd get if he snapped half and you'd have right. Like but he's doing us all a favor for now, bro. I wish if he that snapped, I really wish he would be turned to dust. <laughs> Me too. Because <laughs> then I wouldn't have to listen to you talk about it on a goddamn podcast. God. God, um, hey, you were offered to do this by yourself. Were you? I'm not sure. Uh, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> I would have fucking sat a squirrel in your seat. I taped it to the chair and listened to it squeak every now and yeah. then. How often do you guys kiss? Uh, three times a week. <laughs> 
No tongue. It's key. He keeps count. It's... Am I not supposed to? You don't. Well, it's the women in the relationship job. Keep count. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it because of the hair? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you showed people. Is it because I'm prettier? Can yeah, get, can you, uh, can you show get a your side profile? Watch this to the camera? Just side I, I haven't. I did have it tied up the whole time. Oh. oh. I can't lie. That's actually kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to hear them for a minute, but I'll just do that. <laughs> Oh my god! I just cracked my neck. How was that? Oh, I just felt pretty good. <laughs> oh, I got Anybody who's this. watching this, if you heard like the little dink on the bottom of the chair, it was me getting erect. <laughs> there's always one. You know, there's always one person that makes that joke every podcast. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That the, Usually, just people just go like this. Yeah. <laughs> or like there, there it was. Like this table's <laughs> about to be up three inches, you know, or something like that. Oh man, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I was that guy. <laughs> it's all right. We need one every time. That looks like a shampoo commercial. At least I got the intro right. L'Oreal, head, yeah. actually head and shoulders. I use head and shoulders. Yo. Head and shoulders, if you're watching this, I know you don't have Troy Palomalu anymore. You need me. OBJ, he's going to be washed up. Oh. OBJ doesn't even have hair anymore. He shaved it. He did a commercial. Did he? Yeah. Oh, he's bald? You saw him at like the ESPYs when he wore like the... F- you think I watched the ESPYs? Ask me if I watch the ESPYs right now. Ask the question. <laughs> I didn't... I watched No, ask the media. question. Ask me, do, at, do say, you, Jed, did you watch the ESPYs? Did you watch the ESPYs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I thought he was going to say, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> Are these on? Are these recording? Yeah, the little red dot. That's what the little red thing means. I haven't looked at the camera at all. Sorry. You just did. You should like, look I haven't looked at it really. You should look at it now. You just Not as did. much as you did. Look, 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 look right into it. Give it a big smile. Do it for smile. dramatic effect. Honestly, The Office did it to me. What's up, guys? <laughs> Was it good? <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for coming to the Picky Boys podcast. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, we need, we need it for the thumbnail. You guys get thumbnail, custom clips, all that stuff. Oh, Finger guns. Three, two, one. Finger guns. Oh, nice. He's blocking us. Fucking dick. Goddamn bastard. Blocking us. Of life. He did it again. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he's blocking us. Let me put my finger in the exact same position. <laughs> it's like, it's like ready? Was that, I was blocking looking. you here. God, yeah. where it was. <laughs> oh, man. This is a great setup you guys have. I really like it. Oh, thank it. you. Well, thanks a lot. It's great. All right. Dillman's back. We could close it. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be like a Joe Rogan podcast where it's like three hours. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Yeah, and some of those go like eight. Yeah, that, that, he has it, fun. The, the AMA, Alex Jones yeah. one was it's like, like five, six. It's, like, yeah, yeah, it's, like it's almost, Alex Jones. Like you need him as long as you can have. Not him. even that dude. That guy. That's I, what I, she said. I'm sure, I'm sure that guy could have talked for another fucking. Yeah, but also he uh, he probably has air conditioning in his studio. Yeah, that's also a problem. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, that podcast, that place looks awesome. He's like a whole gym in the back, and yeah. like everything. it's in his basement, I think. You, it's yeah, not, no, yeah, he, you, it's a separate studio. Oh, is it? Yeah, I I could have sworn he said it's in the basement one day. I was like, what? I, was like, I told you it was a separate studio. You kept saying it was in his basement. I told you it was a separate studio. That'd be hilarious if he had like Elon Musk in his basement. Yeah, right. With flamethrowers. Like, why would you risk that like, your house burning down? So, like, Elon Musk put out the Neuralink thing where they'd be able to. Like, he really wants to talk about Neuralink, guys. <laughs> I'm just the saying. Second time. No, no, no. He wasn't going to let this this podcast end without talking about it. So Neuralink sponsor. Gary, me. just talk about it. Well, Go what, ahead. Is it? What, what is it? Go ahead. Uh, basically, it's like. Um, <laughs> Go on. I'm mad you set this up this way. I had to. Because <laughs> uh, you weren't going to let it happen naturally. It was, it, you were forcing it. The, eat the fucking Neuralink, you fucking stupid podcast. Get in there. You fucking chew it. You spit it, spit it in your mouth to wash it down better. Go on. Talk about it. I don't want to. Do <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See, I'm put, sorry. Be, put on the spot. Like, now I can't do it. I mean... Is it like the, like the Black Mirror thing where you, you, like, can if you, you hit you the thing to. and you're like... Uh, kind of. So like basically uh, the way he describes it is that like you need information. Like you're going to go you're gonna <clears> go here and you're going to access your phone. So like there's like a, like a few second gap between you and that information. Basically it's putting that information in your head so you can access it with like a thought. Oh, jeez. There's also a whole side to it where he thinks the only way to stop AI from, yeah. uh, from killing us all it's is to, make is us to merge us, merge us together. To join it. Yeah. So it's like if they're going to pass us so quickly, why can't we... Um, you know, get to that level. Like we have to further ourselves as humans if we're going to compete with AI. I think that's the that's next. Like, that's the next human probably integration into. Wait. I'd sign up for Neuralink. Would you really? You'd want like people in your brain. The first one though. Yeah. I I I yeah. I'd, I'd wait till it's like I'd proven. Do, I'd do like Neuralink 2.0. I would do that one. Yeah. You know. You see like people walking around. Wait, wait for the Danny's of the world to test it out. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. or like Neuralink I'd try, Plus. Dude. You know whatever it is. Danny's gonna be on the floor seizing and he's gonna be like. Okay, so but but but, no but he's also me. shooting out facts. Hey hey listen you're 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 fucking you're taking it one way. Well what if everybody in Neuralink automatically becomes so much more powerful and just takes over. Well, I think the, the thing is like that people are suddenly going to be so people are suddenly going to become like point. smarter, right? right? Like people are going to suddenly become like way more educated and way smarter than they are now. Yeah, why would I go to school if you could put a chip in my head and Why would doctor? you go to school when you have access to literally almost everything you'd ever need on your phone? Yeah. People are probably dumber than they ever are now that they have phones. 
That's Gary's hot take. They're dumber. Well, they're dumber in terms of what they know just by themselves, but they have so much access to information that in some cases they're smarter, I guess. In reality, if you really did utilize the tool of the phone or Google, like you you'd could probably be a genius. You'd really be a genius. You could literally be a genius, yeah. You could Google or you know search for almost everything. It's like the freaks that... You could use DuckDuckGo if you're feeling like you don't want the government to yeah. know what you're doing. Huh. It's a I'm search sure. engine. I'm sure they could still find it. Yeah. It's like the people that read the dictionary, you know? Instead of reading the dictionary, you just... On Google for your for years, and you know a bunch. Yeah, of shit. it's like the first time like someone argues with you, and like you could fact check them on the spot. Yeah, that's be so terrifying. I think the reason he's the Elon Musk is creating this is because that fact checking takes about five seconds, and you put it in your brain, it's gonna take like milliseconds. Yeah, but that sounds like that sounds so ridiculous, right? Now we gotta. Get and you, rid of, we gotta and you get know how like now seconds. on your phone you can go like start your you can start your car on your phone, you can check your temperature. There's so much you could do from your phone. Like you set your thermostat in your house, you can but, turn your TV on. You pay. Pay bills. Yeah, but it, I don't think you're human anymore if you could do all that. Like, if you could just go, like, boop, 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 temperature. Like, like. Well, what does it mean <laughs> to be human? Oh, this is where, <laughs> this is where we're going? <laughs> and that's all the time we have on Piggy Boys. <laughs> oh, shit. What does it mean to be human? It's kind of an awkward silence. It'd be weird not definitely. to end on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give it to Danny on that. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. Uh, we definitely have enough. We could uh, we could get out of here. So how Thanks we... for checking out the Piggy Boys podcast. We'll be back next week. Boom. Boom. Who um, the, right, so they find end you. it now. No, end it now. <laughs> <laughs> end it now. Take it all. I don't say anything. I don't say anything in the end. So it's, it's essentially like well, like what's your Instagram? The launch like, codes are. are. What's like, my Instagram? Like where they find you, you know, like oh, what are you, what's going on? I just changed my username. It's just underscore Gary Dillman underscore. Because oh. I had to be more professional for work. Oh That's damn. Good. Uh I recently deactivated Twitter. So if I figured out how to I went to fix Instagram. that. I went to DM. I'll, I'll uh, get it to you guys somehow. Otherwise I'm on Instagram. I think it's um Chad underscore Hendrickson, but I don't remember. Uh, add me on Snapchat. You're not on a time it's crunch. Dyer <laughs> underscore 69, J-E-D-I-D-I-E-R underscore 69. That's where I'm at a lot. Otherwise, <laughs> um, contact me there. Email me. Call now via text message. <laughs> Snap P.O. Me. Box 3171, Rhode Island. What's your phone number? Uh, redacted. <laughs> redacted. Just download RoboKiller. You won't get those spam calls. Where they find you? Uh, Dmore723 on Instagram. And... Uh, in your hearts. You can find me at Aunt Pritzko and can't forget to follow Picky Boys Podcast also on Instagram. And like and subscribe and show your aunts and uncles and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. and let's... Thanks for being on, guys. Hey, glad to be here. You're welcome. Boom. It was very fun. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> um, uh. And that's it. All right. <laughs> all right, peace, guys. <laughs>